Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Today we are going to be building an obsidian farm. As you can see, my obsidian is growing just fine over here. Just kidding, that's not how you build an obsidian farm. Guys, it's best to think of this farm as a generator. We're making an obsidian generator. It's very easy to make, and if you stick around to the end, I will show you how to make the lava farm extension on top so you never run out of obsidian. All right, to get going, I need a spot. I'm gonna build it somewhere over here. The first thing I'm going to do is start with the end in mind. I'm gonna lay down a double chest. We're gonna place a hopper going into that chest in the side like that. And then coming back, we're going to place one, two, three, four blocks just like that. On the side of those blocks over here on the third block, coming back, we're going to place one, two, three blocks just like that. Then you need to get into a position where you can place a dispenser facing down on that block like that. So you have something that looks like this. On top of this dispenser, we're going to crouch and place a hopper going in. Then we are going to build a trough coming forward just like this all the way to this hopper. Back here, we are also going to place a trough, but we are not going to go all the way back. So we're gonna place a block here and then build up and then come forward just like that. After that, we are going to go over here. I'm going to place a block here. I'm going to jump on that block, place a dropper facing up like that, another one and another one. So I have three droppers all facing up, coming up to the level of this hopper. Then behind this hopper, I'm going to place a hopper going into that hopper. And then over here beside the dispenser, going into the first dropper, I'm going to crouch and place a hopper going in to that dropper. Then I'm going to take some blocks. I'm going to cover this dispenser all the way around with blocks. Then I'm going to crouch, place a chest on top of the dropper and make it a double chest going over to this hopper right here. Then I actually made a mistake. I'm going to break this block. That was a mistake. Coming out of this dispenser facing away, I'm going to place an observer just like that. And then another observer just like that, creating a repeater clock. And then behind the droppers, I'm going to do the same thing. I just need to build a little bit of a platform so I could do this. I'm going to place an observer facing out and an observer facing in, creating a repeater clock. Then behind that observer, I'm going to place a block, another block here, there we go, and another block here. Then I'm going to take redstone and place it on top of the block coming out of these observers, like that. Place one here and one here. Actually, I'm gonna break this last one and place one more block and then redstone right here. Okay, lastly, over here in the back, so I don't know if you can see this, I have my dispenser here, a block. I need to build a wall right here. This is just a back wall. And on the back of that wall, I need to place a water source. Drown is hitting me, yep. Then I'm going to place a block here to cover that up so that all the water flows forward, as you can see. Then I just need to put a button here that stops the water from flowing past this hopper. And over here around this side hopper, I'm going to build up a little bit of a wall I'm actually going to put glass here so I could see what's going on and here as well. Place a block there and there we go. So the way this works is I come over here to my lava bucket farm, grab some lava. Really, I should fill up my inventory and then throw the lava buckets in here. Just like that. Now that created obsidian right in there. And all the lava buckets keep getting dispensed, but they go back through the system because of the droppers that we created. They're not being used until we're ready for them. I simply get my pickaxe, break the obsidian until it and the empty buckets come forward. And I get as many obsidian as I want, as many obsidian as lava buckets. So that is our infinite obsidian farm. The problem is my lava bucket farm is all the way over here. My obsidian farm is all the way over here. So in the second part of this video, I am going to put that bad boy on top of this. It might look funky, but it will be functional. And by the way, I turned this thing off, it was so loud. Okay, so I'm gonna count this as the double chest for the farm. And I'm going to go straight up just like this. And I'm going to come out putting hoppers going into each other. One, two, gotta make sure I get this right, three, 
I'm gonna do that on each side. Then I need to do it going back as well and going forward. Okay, and then I just need to build this out one, two, like that. One, like that. One, two, one. And do that over here. One, two, one. I'm just pointing the hoppers all going into each other. And they are all leading to this middle hopper. Okay, I'm just kind of checking my work, making sure all the hoppers are leading into each other. They are. I'm just kind of building some temporary stairs so I can get up here. Now I'm going to put slabs on all of these hoppers. Okay, then I crouched and placed a block there. This gets a little tricky. I'm going to have to redo that slab there. I need to build up one. And then I will need a cauldron, just like that. And then I'm going to put cauldrons going out. One, two, three, same pattern as before. I made that cross that I made before, like the hoppers, and then I'm filling in the corners. Now I need to place one block, two blocks, and up here I'm going to follow the same pattern. Okay, and somehow I'm <laughs> making a mess here, building up temporarily. I need to get dripstone above all of these cauldrons. Actually, before I do that, I can see they're dripping water. They're gonna fill up my cauldrons with water, which will ruin it. So I need to put lava first before I put the dripstone. Okay, so up here at the top, I need to take my lava bucket, place it right in the middle. Ooh, I need to replace that block. Place it right in the middle. It should flow out evenly. There we go. Now I can place my dripstone. Again, I'm going to have to clean up all this mess I'm making later. Just kind of building my way around so I can get to all the blocks. Just as long as there's a dripstone above each one of the cauldrons, you should be fine. Okay, I'm going to need a ladder to get up. I'm just trying to find my way in. Put a block there. Ow. There we go. Okay, and as you can see here, all I have to do is gather my lava buckets, throw them on the floor, and they get sucked into the hoppers, which eventually go down to my obsidian farm. What I'm gonna do now is just kinda clean this thing up, make it look pretty, because right now it looks really weird, uh, but I'm going to basically build walls around it. I'll see you guys in just a minute. I hate creepers. Okay, guys, there is our tower obsidian farm with lava farm extension. As you can see, I had a creeper mishap I had to fix a little bit. And again, the beauty of this farm is you come up here, grab your buckets of lava, just throw them on the floor. They get sucked into the system. You can come back down and mine your obsidian right here. Or we could come over here to the side and throw our lava bucket straight into the chest that we had before creating obsidian which we harvest i hope you guys enjoyed this build i'm going to be using this obsidian farm to prep for our gold farm next time thanks for watching mm -hmm.